Hey everyone, I am here to give you a quick loot tutorial. Uh, loot is the load order optimization tool. Uh, a couple of people, namely Hip Hopopotamus and Euro44 Gaming Pal 99. Sweet Jesus. Please fix your username if you can. <laughs> um, no, you guys have been asking me to make a quick loot tutorial just to make life a bit easier for you. Um, it seems that people have been having trouble with loot recently. Um, I used Loot once, it was a, it was very easy, it was a very convenient little app, but I did have to troubleshoot some smaller things and I think that may be what people are having trouble with. So I'm going to run you through the basics of simply downloading, installing, uh, and running and organizing your mods with Loot. So installation, uh, running, cleaning up, etc, 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 we'll go through it. So first and foremost, you're going to go to loot.github.io. I will keep a link for this in the description below, down there. Um, you're going to go here, click download. I've already done this. It'll never get you to this page here. You can download this 7-zip, and it will work. You'll just have to extract it. Might be a smaller download by like one megabyte. Or you can just download the installer. I've just downloaded the installer. You probably should. It's, it's just one less step. So download the loot installer, we can, you know, you just click that, it'll give you download and shit. I've already done all of this, you hit save file, etc. Now that we've done that, I have mine installed just in downloads here, there it is. Once you've saved it, you're going to open it up, hit run, navigate to wherever you wish to have it installed, it does not matter, you just put it where it's convenient for you. Run through the motions, I did... This is actually take two of this recording because my phone shit itself, so let's hope it doesn't freak out. All that's done, leave the launch loot box ticked. It's It'll do the rest of the work itself. It will go through like an initial setup phase as it just scans for your installed games. However, when I first did this, it never found my Fallout. And I think that's what some people have been having trouble with. So when I first installed this, it found my Skyrim, but it never found Fallout. And I can imagine a few people having trouble with that would have no idea how to fix it, because it was a little bit of a fuck around. So I am going to go through that process now. It doesn't take long, but I can understand how it would be tricky. So, you want to detect your fallout. We, we should do this either way, straight off the bat. So this little... The UI is very interesting compared to a lot of programs, and I can definitely get how it would be a bitch to navigate. Anyway, so if you're having trouble with your fallout not being detected, so you've got all your games here, you can use this for Fallout, Oblivion, Skyrim everything basically Bethesda and apparently Necrom at Fate's Edge whatever that is um, you're going to select Fallout from your drop down menu if it's not there you're going to follow what I'm about to do you're going to hit these little three dots on the right hand side top right hand corner go down to your settings now in here is where you can manually tell the program where your directory is your directory is just where your Fallout executable is the actual game itself so I'm going to make this very, very easy to find. All you have to do is go into your Steam, right-click on Fallout 4, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, this is where you want to be. Now, to get the directory, go into the top bit where my mouse is here, click the little folder, and then just copy this. So right-click, Copy, or Control-C. I'll just do it this way for the sake of argument. Open back up Loot, and where it... You want your master file... Fallout4.esm, oh, they're both the same thing, you're just going to paste it into the install path. So for the sake of giggles, I'm just going to paste this here, and there it is. Then you're going to just hit apply. I'm going to hit cancel, simply because I've already done this. Once you do that, it may scan again, just to figure out what mods you do have. Just let it, it's not a big deal. And then you should have your Fallout being shown here. Now this mod, this little app is so, so pleasantly easy to use. All it essentially does is uses a known database to organize your ESMs and ESPs, yeah, into the correct order. It's very nice. Um, all you have to do very easily is just not press that button. Uh, this little button here, sort plugins. It's gonna go through, It'll take a second, and it's going to just put all of your things in the right order. Just like that. So it sh what it should have is your Fallout 4 executable, DLCs, high resolution texture pack, I assume. I'm just going to scroll down here. There it is. And then it'll have everything else in order 
and it almost always gets it right. I uh, had no trouble at all. It will sometimes give you little pop-ups just asking you to change some things, but it also cleans everything up quite nicely. And you're done. That's it. You, you're finished. You're good to go. You may need to update your master list, but for the most part, you don't have to, as you see. Um, after that, you, you're finished. You're genuinely just done. You, it did everything for you. Just close it. You're peachy. Um, then you can just launch your Fallout 4 via your script extender like you normally would. Um, as if I'm about to stream or something like that. Run that bad boy. Uh, I'll give it a second just to boot up so that you can see that everything is in the right order. I can now also open Nexus Mod Manager and it should display them in the correct order. Which I will do for the sake of argument as well. Ah, good old reshade taking its time. Yeah. Ignore those errors, those are just reshade errors. That's just... I was a bit slack when I installed reshade. It's also a little bit yucky. So, this is my survival playthrough. Just load into this. It is on an SSD, so it shouldn't take too long. But, Fallout's a very big game. So... Um... As with my last tutorial, if you do have any questions or you need further clarity, do not hesitate to comment. I reply to literally everyone that needs help. Here we are. Game runs. So I quit the desktop now. And I'm going to open up Nexus Mod Manager. I've recently been messing around with modding Skyrim a little bit. And if we go to our plugin. There we go, uh, high resolution, Fallout 4 patch, and everything is in the right order. Easy peasy, you're done. You've successfully used loot for its intended purpose, which is to optimize your load order. Um, it makes modding even easier. I didn't really touch on it beforehand because I'd never used it. But now that I have experience with it, I feel confident that I can help you with it. So if you have any questions or you need any further clarity, do not hesitate to comment. I will get back to you. Like, that's a sure thing. So, yeah. Um, good luck. Hopefully it's been a really easy time for you. We're done. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Easy.